This is a think tech commentary. What is going on in our media? What is going on with the media these days? After all, the media is more and more consolidated, more profitable and more influential than ever before. We all know that the media is fascinated with Trump. Every political story and show is saturated with him. He sucks all the oxygen out of the room and out of the public conversation. And that's exactly what he wants. Shouldn't we rather prioritize what Kamala Harris will do to bring decency, respect, caring, prosperity and peace to the country and the world? A troubling aspect of this is that so often the media take small-time swipes at her. Perhaps they don't have enough news that day and want to give us a little more contention. Maybe they feel they have to do that to entertain us or perhaps achieve some age-old notion of balanced reporting, when the choices are not balanced at all. Given the threat that Trump poses, this kind of coverage is simply not appropriate. The real choice is between an unhinged, dangerous criminal candidate and one who can clean up the mess he has made. Every time the media takes a swipe at Kamala Harris, they are likely to be making Trump's lies and machinations more influential, and encouraging voters to vote for him. These media organizations are not serving the public good or looking to the future. If Trump wins, they will be at least partially responsible. Couldn't they have saved us from a malevolent dictatorship? Instead, these media should be helping the country. They should not be taking unproductive swipes at Kamala Harris. The bottom line about her is that whatever she is, she is not Trump. This has been a Think Tech commentary. Thanks so much for watching.